Every time the Clark County School District Police get a tip about a threat on a school campus, they assume it's credible and then they expend their resources trying to shut it down as quickly as possible. Many times the threat is a hoax. Fox 5's Abby Tedros talked to school district police to explain the difference. Well, investigators look into whether the person responsible has a plan to carry it out. Police told me in a lot of these cases, students post empty threads online thinking it's a joke. And because most of the threads are through apps and social media, investigators can track down the person responsible within a few hours. Then they'll look into their history, whether they've brought a weapon on campus before, if they have behavioral issues, or even a list of names, or if they've made threats in the past. We just don't look at the incident itself. We will research them as much as possible, either social media or if the parents give us access or if we get a warrant to search their, their, their home, their bedroom and things like that. So we gather as much information as we can. And police have responded to more than 1,700 calls of threats this school year. Even if police determine the threat is empty, in some cases, officers still recommend charges. They look at the damage that a threat can cause to students to staff or parents, even the overall learning experience. And in Nevada, a terroristic threat which involves a threat to carry out violence against a larger population like a school is a Class B felony. Someone who is convicted of this can serve up to 20 years in prison. Reporting live, Abby Tedros, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.